he was saying that we we kind of got engulfed in their movement and we forgot that we were men. So the fact that we were following them and that out the gate, that was wrong. So um, Marissa, the next thing you know, you're doing TikTok dances with your girlfriend. So <laughs> he did say that. That was a really funny video. <laughs> I watched Soul Immortal. He did say he that. He said, next thing you know, brothers, that's what you know. Next thing you know, brother, you're doing TikTok <laughs> videos with your girl. It's like, He's you, like that is not that is that's not masculine at all. You know, I'm still talking. You just, uh, I know I'm saying it's going to cut off. Yeah, I know, but I just want to finish my. I feel like okay. a fool. But I don't want. I'm going. I understand. I'm excited, and then you took it away by putting your but right, I'm yourself in front of me, and you right. But see, I'm trying to explain to you. Oh, okay. I about see what just happened. You cut me off. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Second half of the video. Um, there was a man who made a comment on a previous video that is willing to. <laughs> so many men are not willing to admit that maybe they had something to do feminist movement um and screwing things up what what the fuck this is one of those videos where i feel like both men and women are gonna hate <laughs> from mike he said stuff mike 1970s what he calls so i he said i hate to admit it i hate to admit this fellas as embarrassing as it is we men messed up our power some of us fell into the feminist trap too my wife understands me having to lead and the importance of the patriarchy. Other cultures are having none of this. They are laughing at the men in this country losing leadership like this. You know, he's right. Um, if mm -hmm. men, and when this feminist stuff started happened, there are men who just went along with this and they were supposed mm -hmm. to lead. And they stopped leading and then women kind of went rampant and here we are. Yeah, you know, and I feel like now it's it's hard to for a man to admit that part. I think. Yeah, a lot of men don't want to. Admit well, I mean, that part uh, of it. well, I mean, like I, I mean, even like they said, like back in the uh, the day, mm -hmm. Rockefeller actually um, funded programs yes. to get women out of the house so they could tax the other half of the, mm -hmm. the country, which would put women, uh, put which which put women women out of the way of kids, which would indoctrinate them in public schools, mm -hmm. would then would change, yeah. you know, society. So it's always been in the works. Yeah. You know, that was a man yep. who did this. You know what I mean? Men also gave women the right to vote. Men were in power. I mean, so I mean, again, right. men, I are mean men are the men are responsible for things like modern pinuses mm -hmm. that made it easier for women to cook and clean. Yeah, right. You know, then you fast forward to the 60s where uh, where the women's movement moved and where the women's movement started mm -hmm. and they were burning their bras and they were talking about free love. Yeah. Which means now you don't even have to have marry us to have sex. Yeah. Which also gave men a feeling of, oh, yay, I can now sleep with a woman and not have to buy the cow. I can just get it for free. You know, get the milk for free. You know, that sort of thing. And I think that men That's got negligent. so comfortable <laughs> with things like Playboy mm -hmm. and stuff like that where they didn't have to um, in, invest in a woman. Well, you were polluting your minds You got it, this. You, yeah. We almost made it comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. And then we manipulated. Yes. That's what's what happened, you That's guys. what happened. That's what Cardi B's doing. Yeah. She's just manipulating. She manipulated. That's it. Because the, the problem is, is that men have a hand in feminism. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, just, it's one thing that men don't like to really state a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I was watching Steven Crowder the other day, and he was saying, he said, men don't need uh, women, they just want women. I said, well, I've heard women say that too. Women don't, don't, women need, don't, don't need, need men. men. We it's just want them. And I said, okay, right. And a lot of times men do this, where they beat their che their own chest because they feel emasculated by the feminist mm -hmm. movement and what women have done to this country to make you guys feel obsolete. Then all of a sudden you say something like that, and then it just makes women like that double down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the truth is, is that, yeah, Stephen, it was actually men who helped women become feminists. Yeah. It, you know, I, I like Steven Crowder. I think he's funny. He's a comedian. And he's, he's right on a lot of He's right on almost everything. But the thing is, is that I'm waiting to see some man who, like this guy, who admits that you Mike, guys really kind of gave away your power. Look, you Mike, were, Mike, you stood up there. You put, you put your neck out on the <laughs> Because I feel like there are not a lot of men that would say that. And look, I was watching a, um, or we were watching a little clip, and I hope I can get this up. I really hope it's not copyrighted. But mm -hmm. I, I hope I can get this up. But there this whole feminist thing started this whole talk of men and women are equal mm -hmm. they're we're all equal right we're all so equal so this woman is asking these muslim men you know um about this thing and he he said something fabulous he's like no we're not and women would be unhappy if we were 
But the issue in society today, and I, I do want to extrapolate a little bit, is that when you apply the roles of a man to a woman, which is essentially what feminism is, in some ways or another, yeah, it, it actually hurts the woman. It hurts her because she's she thinks that the only way to be great is to be like a man, but she'll never be like a man. So it creates this vicious cycle of a woman constantly feeling upset and you know uh, being brought down and stuff like that. So that that's what I would say about that. Women will be unhappy if they have to be do the duties of men, and he is correct because the women here are unhappy. Men in other countries, in a lot of other countries, where the patriarchy is alive and well, and is not interrupted. Almost every other country. Yes, they are doing spectacular in the. Um, you know, the balance of man and woman. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not saying they're doing perfect. I'm just saying that they're, the balance is there and everyone knows what they're doing. Everyone mm -hmm. understands. Everybody got the corners. They know what they're doing. We, and like Mike said, you are so right. I, people are probably laughing. They're probably laughing their asses off at us. Yeah, I was, I was watching, you know? I told you earlier, I was watching this, um, it looked like a, one of those um, phone conversation, mm -hmm. or phone, phone, uh, like, like the Zoom? Zoom, okay. Yeah, there was Zoom and he was doing an interview, these two Muslim guys, and they were doing an interview. They were younger. They were mm -hmm. like uh, 28, mm -hmm. somewhere like that. And they were saying, I think they live in New York, yeah. and they were saying, like, they were talking about the feminist movement, and they were saying that, um, and they were talking about LGBT also, which they weren't too fond of that, but when they specifically got into the uh, feminist movement, they, they said, yeah, American men dropped the ball heavily, heavily. on that. He's like, my people would never let a woman leave her place. They, he just they won't do it. He said, for the family structure alone. He said, wait, he said we, we don't want our nuclear family interrupted by politics. <laughs> this is true. We're not doing that. You know what I mean? We're not yeah. playing that game. He said, this is true in China. This yeah. is true in Africa. This is true. And he said, in our, in our part of the world, he was just like, women have a place, men have a place. Mm -hmm. He's just like, in, in America, the Western world, they have literally, he said, men literally gave mm -hmm. over their power and now are complaining about it. Yeah. And this he's is just true. Like, this is the thing. He's just like I. I think that feminism really just makes women angry because women don't really want to be men. Mm -hmm. They don't really want that. They. they not really. Yeah. He's just like this is all rhetoric. Yep. You know what I mean? Jason Whitlock, like I said, I was watching his show not too long ago, and he was saying the same thing. He said I'd like to drop these uh, women like Gloria Steinem, um, Diane Feinstein, and um, he's Hillary Clinton, AOC, and I'd like to take all those ladies and drop them back in the in the early 1900s. <laughs> they, okay. He's like, and they would fall in line. Why? Joke. Because work was hard. Okay. M women could not do physically the work. He said. He said that that men could do. And I hated that they're demonizing mm -hmm. men and saying that men kept them from working. But the truth is, is that no, work was hard. <laughs> women didn't want that job. Women didn't even want the right to vote. Most women didn't. Men gave women the right to vote. Oh, that's what I liked about these Muslim men we're talking about. They were like, no, it doesn't. There are there are balances and there are different differences in in genders um, for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's for balance to balance out each other. Society gets balanced mm -hmm. out, and I feel like when we're over here talking about you know feminism. And we're only talking about the women who were a hot mess, which they are. Mm -hmm. Look, it is a mess, right? There's a part of this that we're forgetting to talk about, you know? And that's about the men mm -hmm. who let it happen. You allowed it. You're the leader. Yeah. You allowed it to happen. Point where I do have compassion mm -hmm. for a lot of women who are feminists because they're being led down a cliff, but they don't know it. It's one of those things, you know, forgive them from their sins. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah. They don't know. You know what I mean? You have to understand that our academia mm -hmm. follows this. Churches are starting to follow this. You know what it's I mean? It's embedded into society. It's embedded to society. Yeah. So a lot mm -hmm. of these young girls, 20, 30, whatever, mm -hmm. they, they're all being indoctrinated. But also the younger men are starting to be mm -hmm. indoctrinated, that their masculinity is toxic. We had a girl who, who commented on our show and said all masculinity is toxic. This is a young girl. I know she is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the thing is, it's just like that is what they're believing. And so when men get mad at feminism, I understand why, but on some, but sometimes you have to hold back and understand that a lot of women are not being feminist because they just chose that. They just want to be. A lot of them are feminist because it is just being ingrained. From a right. very, Kira was telling me earlier, you were explaining, or you know, you were noticing earlier that, um, like Kara and I were raised during the eighties. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, where, that's like that woman's working time, really getting in there, mm -hmm. movement nine to five we're doing all this right and we were around a bunch of working you know like feminist type of women mm -hmm. and so there you know like we're around the environment like mm -hmm. that and you're only seeing that 
and you're from a decade where that's really prevalent, mm -hmm. you really think that that's the right way to go. And then you take, you take, we're, we're one, we're black women, like a lot of black yeah. men and women who are raised with just a single mother. Right. So for me, I never was for feminism. I was just lost. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to believe. You know what I mean? I didn't know what I was supposed, I knew what I liked, mm -hmm. but anytime I said I wanted to be like a wife and a mother, then I got attacked for being old fashioned. Old fashioned, yeah. I have a lot of compassion for a lot of women, even though I say what I say, because I believe what I say, I think feminism is toxic. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred percent, I actually think it's devilish. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, Satanistic, yeah. I think, in my opinion, because it, it, it takes women away from their natural order. Mm -hmm. yeah. It makes them give that up. And then it makes them empty. Yeah. inside you know what I mean and so I understand them because I know what it's like to not understand where you where you're what, when you're when your heart fall mm -hmm. gets in, in a conflict with society mm -hmm. I, I actually feel the, the thing that made me um, not not like feminism really a lot was actually not listening to women but looking at men mm -hmm. because I felt all of a sudden I started to feel um, some compassion for men because their autonomy, the, the thing that drives them, their masculinity was being called it's been toxic. And therefore, yeah. if that's called toxic, they are. It's something that we, we sit around talking about, okay, gay people are born gay. Mm -hmm. So why will we treat the gay people badly and not give them rights? Because that's how they're born. Well, if men are born with masculinity, why would well, we, we do, yeah. do that to them too? Right. Why are we telling them they're toxic simply because they're straight males that that feel uh, that feel their need to be the leader. Well, and then also I think that a lot of uh, men like that, that's, that's, that's why we stand up for men in that way because I feel like men um, that are just masculine, being a, just being a guy, that was being attacked as a, as a uh, misogynist mm -hmm. and, and a chauvinistic guy. And, you know, he's a pig for being thinking this way, you know, against women. I'm like, no, I, I think that he's just masculine. So when did, so, words have changed mm -hmm. masculinity has now been called chauvinistic just like that mm -hmm. we just changed it and i'm like no i'm standing up for this i'm like no 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 that's a lie that is not um toxic to me you know i was watching this documentary on this too this, uh, uh, a man was saying um if i can find it i'll link it but he was talking about this very thing and he was like you know we dropped the ball as men during that time because we wanted to, you know, help fight for their rights or whatever they were wanting. And then when you get engulfed and ingrained in that type of a movement, you end up trying to be their ally, which you become their ally, mm -hmm. which is, in itself is not wrong. Mm -hmm. He was saying that we, we kind of got engulfed in their movement and we forgot that we were men because we were trying to mm -hmm. um, help them, right? And they're the helpers. We're the leaders. So the fact that we were following them and that out the gate, that was wrong. We shouldn't be following a woman's movement. That was incorrect, right? You can still be for women and, and still want to lead and all that, but, you, but to, to follow a woman that way is not right. Because then what happens, you're engulfed in the movement and then you become what we now call it's like a simp. You are now switching roles. You know, we're talking about you're talking about allies. I think the word ally has been grossly changed. Yeah, it has. because now it's like if you don't, if you, the only way you can be an ally mm -hmm. is if you agree to you agree with all of our ideologies, right. said group. Mm -hmm. If you're a woman, if you're for women's rights, you have to be with for everything women say. Or yeah. you're not an ally. If you're for LGBT, you have to be uh, or for everything that LGBT mm -hmm. stands for. You're just not an ally. You can't be critical. You know I mean? yeah. Like I said in our other video, um, when I was watching the video, Uncle Tom. And he was saying that, uh, he's just like, he said that the nuclear family, Ozzie and Harriet, mm -hmm. were considered Eurocentric. Mm -hmm. And that he's, he's an deemed racist. Mm -hmm. He's like, the black power movement also agreed, and so did the feminist movement. So the black power movement that looks like strong black men in these militant outfits mm -hmm. actually agreed with women not being women. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that, so the, 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 brain, the brain, like yeah, I would have never thought of it that way because I did not know that piece of information. But now I know that piece of information. I look at the black power movement mm -hmm. a little different. Yeah. And so that's 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 just my point. They had they had a hand mm -hmm. in the the break up of the nuclear family. Men were which, never supposed to follow us. Which would have which would have which if they had they had not done that would have hurt the very mm -hmm. um would have would have helped if they not had done that would have helped the very um problem that they were trying to fight against right. which was racism. Right. Because as long as we were together as black families we were much stronger. 
when we but if break up. A, but if you're in a yeah. hand of breaking up the women, in hand standing with the women's movement and breaking up that, then you are also mm -hmm. as black a Black Panther in the in the. Um, you have a hand in breaking mm -hmm. up the black nuclear family. Mm -hmm. it some brave men to say that. Yeah, that Mike. That Mike. Mike. It, it took a brave man to say it because you know it's it, hearing a woman say that is one thing, and I'll stand by that. I believe that to be mm -hmm. true, actually. But it needs to come out of the mouths of men. Yeah, so there has to be men, and I guess he would have been as closer to his fifties if he's saying nineteen. If I'm assuming that's what that means, nineteen seventy. He's older man, and he's married, mm -hmm. and he's a leader in his marriage. You know, and he, his wife understands the patriarchy. She believes in it. I do too. But there has to be someone at the head of it all. And when you go and and, and join forces with a movement that is literally against you, mm -hmm. it, it's manipulative. It was very manipulative how they did that movement because it made it look like it wasn't even really necessarily necessarily about you specifically. It was just kind of like, oh, we want to work. You know, we want. But really, what they were doing was saying, uh, men, get the hell out of the way. We don't, don't need you here, but follow us, but still follow us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get get pick it with us, but we don't really need you. They're just kind of letting you. They're letting you? You know, so when men come out and say, you know, um, we are a large part of the problem, and what we're seeing now, you can fast forward, that's then. So when you fast forward today, what we're seeing, so it's a slow process, right? You know, that was a very slow kind of process, but now we have our men who literally are house husbands we have strengths in different ways but we are not equal but what happens is, is that men do not stand up for their own masculinity they turn around and get mad at women and say that oh you hit a wall and they start saying all these things but the truth is is you guys also had a hand in this you, you should have never let go i wish men would have tried harder there was they, a, they yeah, really did there was, a select, you know, there was like a select few uh, bit of men that stood their ground and said the feminist movement you can you can miss me mm -hmm. with that you know, and they sit the ground, and those men are married to this day, mm -hmm. and they're doing just fine. It was the men who um, fell for the okie doke. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of like the the problem there is that men followed a liberal mm -hmm. movement and became liberal and became um, simps, mm -hmm. and then followed the right along. And uh, <laughs> next thing you know, you're a house husband. But this is it's. It's a very oh, uh, solemn world. So next thing you know, you're doing TikTok dances with your girlfriend. Solemn. <laughs> he did say that. That was a really funny video. <laughs> I watched Solemn Mortal. He did say he that. He said, next thing you know, brothers, that's what you know. Next thing you know, brothers, you're doing TikTok videos with your girl. <laughs> it's like, He's you, like that is not that is that's not masculine at all. But you know, I, I feel like you know, I it's important like I always find it important to the show is that we tell the truth of what's going on. We talk mostly about women's things and things that we are falling short on because we don't want to sit here and talk about cookie cutter, you know, things that are happening with women. There's stuff going on that we're messing up with, right? And we call that out. And I think it's important to call out your own party, right? And I think that is really important for men to call out, you know, <laughs> where y'all fell short. Mm -hmm. Because... As that this guy was saying, and I know men from other countries. You know, we lived in New York, so we knew people from other. New York is a melting pot of all the different, you know, You're countries. And, yeah, and <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. So all the men I knew from every other country, they all are like, they're, I don't know why American women, mm -hmm. why why men are so letting American women just kind of lead away. And so we had an Uber driver once that said this. That he was a uh, Nigerian. Mm -hmm. He said, American men let their women take over. Mm -hmm. And that's true. Not all of them. I'm just saying that most of them. Otherwise, women wouldn't have these... Well, I mean, this was Ilha Omar. She's Somali. Yeah. She's from Somal yes. Somalia. Yeah. And they were saying, like, yeah, you go ahead and, with your big mouth, you go over there to Somalia <laughs> and talk right. like that to those men. That ain't going to fly. And that's why she's in America. Yeah. That's not because she fly. can only get away with that and wearing her headpiece yeah. with, <laughs> and talking like that yeah. in this country. If she goes back to her own country... Not going to happen. You know, think sometimes I question myself of even doing the show, and a lot of it is not because I don't like doing it or whatever, but it's it's because it it just seems like like we've gone so far that the truth almost just doesn't matter sometimes, and and I always I often say that when we do our show because I. I I don't ever want to talk about these top topics. Sometimes I just blush over them. I know, I know. But the truth is, is I feel like there's a calling. It's it's weird. Even though we don't have a lot of subscribers, I, there's just something about it that yeah, I just I never want to do it. But for some reason, I, I can't help but do it. And call out these 
it's just it bothers me like I wish I could just not talk about this and go do something else yeah. you know just do some other things and something and, and I wish I could just walk away but I <laughs> you can't. Know, because but I'm a very private person in general I don't really like you know, my political views are my political views. Um, I don't really try to impose my life on anybody. You know what I mean? I'm not that kind of person in general. But, um, and so my views are my views. So it's, even though uh, I'm that kind of person, yeah. I just, every single time, every single week we do this show, I question whether I, I really want to do well, this. Cause you know what yeah. I mean? Because I feel like um, I don't, because, because I just feel like it doesn't matter. And then every time I say that, I feel like something in me is just saying, no, do it. It was Brandon. Yeah. It was Brandon Tatum said that he got, he said that to a, a caller of his mm -hmm. a man. And the man was like telling him like, you really made me change the way I think. And Brandon was like, you know, I do the show every day and I just, I, I, I try to get the, the truth out there the best I can. I feel like I sometimes I just talk to myself and I don't know if it's getting through to anybody. And he told the guy, but this is the reason why is that mm -hmm. this is the reason why, because there is a truth that has to be told, and sometimes the truth is harsh. And I don't ever want to be the type of person that wag my fingers. Sometimes I know what you mean with the show, mm -hmm. because I don't want it to come off as if I'm, I'm wagging. I'm not like this in real life. Yeah. I'm not like a person who just tells you. Yeah, do I don't that. want to think yeah. I'm, I'm like wagging my finger in your face to tell you, you need to be doing this. But there are some truths that are not being told out there. And I feel like if you, there's a reason why we have some type of a platform to talk about stuff like this, because I think that people are not willing to say some things. You know, even on this subject, uh, this even this subject, there's going to be men who are going to be uncomfortable with what we just said, right? And even though it was a man who wrote us mm -hmm. in his video, it's going to be a man that's uncomfortable with that because it's going to have, you're going to have to admit some stuff. And honestly, there's things that as a woman, I've had to admit that mm -hmm. I'm uncomfortable with that I know I screwed some stuff up, you know? Mm -hmm. And so... I don't know. I, th I think that it's just, imp I think truths are important and we have to kind of yeah. get it out there, but there are times where I'm just like, man, yeah, you, got set up, you got set up this whole thing, set up the lights, set up all the stuff. And I feel like it's, it's, it's also my day off. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like, man, you know, I hope this is really getting through to somebody. I really hope, my, my hope always is that like you guys, you know, um, are just kind of, um, hearing, uh, sides of different things. The, the, you know, the world has gone so badly. And someone's got to say something. And that I feel like if I don't say anything or other people that think like me don't say anything, then there will only be one side. Yeah. And, and I have, that's what I said, I have some compassion for a lot of these feminist women because I think that they, they're being led because they're so young yeah. and their minds are like sponges. They're just being yeah. led down a cliff. And men, younger men, are being led with yeah, they're holding, holding hands. Holding women, yeah, they're... Because they're going to be beta males. But what I'm saying is, is that these women, it's not that, it's not that they um, are are trying to be people that no one wants. Is they actually are being trained yeah. to think that this is correct. Right. And so with that, I have to have some compassion, because <laughs> just like men are being told that masculinity mm -hmm. is toxic. Yeah. And then they're saying, no, we're not, we're not. I have to have compassion for that because that's not true. Yeah. These women are being led down a cliff and they're, and all these elitist women mm -hmm. are taking them yeah. uh, and they're not, they're all getting married and making money and, mm -hmm. and they're telling all these other women, oh yeah, you can do this, but do you value yourself? Be naked all the time. Show your body, twerk, you know, make it's, your money, girl, be a CEO, boss bitch, mm -hmm. all this stuff. They're, they're being indoctrinated and they don't think there is anything wrong. I know they don't. They even get at us. Oh, you guys are living in a different century and you guys yeah. are holding women back. It's like, no, no, it's not. It's that you've been brainwashed and you don't even realize your real purpose anymore. And you think it's right because you have a lot of men right now that have um are allowing themselves to be led by women mm -hmm. so they're definitely thinking they're they're doubling down on it and these women are like okay well i know i'm doing the right thing because men are following me now people are promoting this but let us know what you think um uh, leave some comments below we'd love to hear your thoughts on this um i don't even know what the comments will about. <laughs> but we'd love to hear them so do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel we would love if you did that and that's really it everybody have a really good weekend bye